The Battle of Armageddon, the Culmination of Prophecy The word Armageddon has transcended religious texts to become synonymous with cataclysmic battles and the end of the world in popular culture. The term, however, has its origins in the Bible, particularly in the New Testament's Book of Revelation. This apocalyptic scripture foretells of a climactic end-time conflict, the Battle of Armageddon which represents the ultimate struggle between the forces of good and evil. Historical and Geographical Context The name Armageddon is derived from the Hebrew Har Megiddo, which translates to Mountain of Megiddo. Geographically, Megiddo is a historic location in modern-day Israel, known for its strategic importance due to its overseeing the main north-south trade route of the Fertile Crescent. Over time, it has witnessed numerous battles, which have been immortalized in various ancient sources. Given this backdrop, the term Armageddon serves as a fitting metaphor for a final, world-altering confrontation. The Prophetic Vision Revelation 16 14-16 gives the most direct mention of Armageddon. Here, John the Apostle records the vision he received while exiled on the Isle of Patmos. The verses depict evil spirits gathering the world's rulers and their armies to the place called in Hebrew Armageddon. The sinister assembly is motivated by the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet, representing Satan, the Antichrist and his main accomplice, respectively. This battle does not emerge from a vacuum. Instead, it's the climax of a series of events described in Revelation. Preceding Armageddon, the world would witness widespread turmoil, cataclysms, the rise of the Antichrist, and the persecution of those who refuse to bear his mark. The Battle's Significance The Battle of Armageddon isn't just another conflict, it encapsulates the overarching theme of the Bible, the struggle between God's sovereignty and the rebellion of creation, this battle, unlike any other, features the direct intervention of Jesus Christ, depicted in Revelation 19 11-16. Riding a white horse and leading the armies of heaven, Christ, as the Word of God, confronts the forces of evil. What makes this battle distinct is not its scale or the number of combatants but the clear demarcation between good and evil. It epitomizes the biblical narrative where, despite the seeming triumph of darkness, light prevails in the end. The Aftermath The Battle of Armageddon as described in Revelation, is swiftly decisive. The beast, Antichrist, and the false prophet are captured and thrown into the lake of fire. This sets the stage for Satan's binding for a thousand years in Christ's millennial reign on earth, a period characterized by peace, righteousness, and the restoration of creation. Post the millennium, Satan is released for a short while, deceives nations again, but is swiftly defeated and thrown into the lake of fire, where the Antichrist and the false prophet are. This paves the way for the final judgment and the creation of a new heaven and a new earth. Conclusion The Battle of Armageddon, laden with symbols and imagery, transcends a mere military conflict. For believers, it represents the hope that no matter how chaotic, evil, or seemingly insurmountable the challenges of life are, God's ultimate purpose will prevail. The story invites introspection, urging us to decide which side of this grand narrative we align ourselves with.